the police, you know. Takže teďka se jdu potkat s Alim a jdeme teda na sunset k afroditinným kamenům. Hmm. Takže to bude very nice. Lodě. Lodě jsou pěkný. Lodě jsou nice. Ale ještě před afroditinou vyhlídkou jsem si skočila na hrad Pafos. Tento středověký přístavní hrad byl vystavený rodem Lusinianů po roce 1222. V roce 1570 byl umyslně rozebrán Benátčany před zneužitím Turky. I přesto byl kolem roku 1780 obnoven právě v době turecké nadvlády. Mimochodem, po převzetí moci Brity byl hrad využíván jako sklad obilí a nyní slouží jako muzeum. Takže do hradu mě nepustili, ale mají tu, mají tu nějaký performance, divadílko s dětskama, což je cute. Ale nahoru asi už nemůžu, no. Čičina! Lidi krmící holuby. They have before 12 gods. Uh -huh. God for war, God for agriculture, God for sea, God for wind, God for sun, God for opportunity, uh -huh. God of love and beauty. Uh -huh. So they say opportunity is birth here. Kypr je ostrov opředený řadou bájí a legend, pojících se zejména k bohyně krásy a lásky Afroditě. A tak tu dodnes stojí například Afroditiny lázně, nebo se můžete projít po Afroditiných stezkách, či spatřit Afroditinu skálu. Neoficiálně se místu také říká Afroditina pláž. Jméno této bohyně je odvozeno od řeckého slova Afros, které se překládá jako pěna. Afrodita se tedy údajně zrodila z bílé mořské pěny. Již zmiňovaná Afroditina skála podle legendy prý může člověku zajistit věčné mládí a krásu. Musí se však sedmkrát obeplout. Někdy se uvádí, že dokonce desetkrát. Sledem k tomu, že v oblasti jsou nebezpečné spodní proudy, stála tato povídačka život už několik žen. Turistům se teda nedoporučuje, aby zkoušeli, co je na téhle pověsti pravdy. A zřejmě z důvodu, aby nedocházelo k dalším utonutím, se tu začala šířit pověstina. Když se tady v mořské vodě vykoupete, údajně omládnete až o 10 let. I ten, kdo si tu na pláži smočí nohy, omládne o rok. Mm -hmm. 
so this also cover sometimes you found crazy ladies like this they're swimming <laughs> yeah i actually wanted to swim as well but i can you I wanted to I, I wanted to bring my swimming suit Huge. but <laughs> next time maybe in Larnaca <laughs> because yeah today it's very cold today it's very very cold five minutes later is it that cold really uh, I don't know for me it's cold in the video I will tell you one belief about the rocks this rock uh -huh. this one uh -huh. the black one some ladies they came from Russia and Belarus Russia they believe that they have a problem with the beauty and they have a problem with the attraction so if you want the goodies of love and beauty and sex aphrodite gods blessing you you have to go there and swimming full naked full nude it will take around one time around the rock so when you come summertime you will see a lot of ladies they are in then suddenly they be full nude, full naked. It's, I don't know, only in Russia. I don't know who's, who's telling them. That's interesting, really. To be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here by law, if somebody go in the swimming area or uh, beaches or something topless, by law nobody can tell you no or something. Yeah, that's nice. Full naked also, nobody. somebody reports because the law here is about respectation it's not about the allowed not allowed it's about do whatever you want but don't hurt the other this is the mentality so. i love this mentality yeah. so public places it is public place for everyone everybody they talk about this i ask many people about it they uh -huh. say it's like a pleasant belief of the trees that everybody has a wish Mm -hmm. And after you put you put any type of fabric or mm -hmm. plastic or whatever you put it, put it with a wish. So, for example, I wish one day I came with my mom here. Uh -huh. You understand? Mm -hmm. And mom, she passed away. Mm -hmm. So I came here alone. So mm -hmm. I put my wishes that already it looks she with me here in the same place. I visit mm -hmm. in behalf of her and behalf of myself. So it's nice. kind of things, you know. That's really nice. But it's uh, not environmental. No. If you go there, you will find there's somebody put mask. Yeah, mask and plastic and, and everything. Let's go. There. Yeah. Up. Uh -huh. You go down, a little bit it became more white. You go down, it yeah. became yellow, then go orange. Why? <laughs> Shall I start to account? One, two, three, to jump. We can jump. No, 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 you can jump. I don't oh. want to jump. Why should I jump? <laughs> I'm afraid of the police, you know. You can see front the car, front of us, it's a red color plate. Mm -hmm. a red color plate, it means renting car. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of people, they came from abroad and they are driving, steering in the left side. Mm -hmm. The people, they have no knowledge how to drive in this side. So, any other plate, white or yellow, is for people living here. Yeah. They have a license from here. But red is for renting, that means the tourist. The Cyprus government, they make something very nice for those. Me, I know he's a renting car, so I have to give him a space. Mm -hmm. I have to be patient with him. I have to show him if he lost. If he's doing something wrong, I give him a sign <laughs> that he's doing yeah. something wrong because it's very dangerous, not only for himself. It's dangerous uh -huh. for everybody. This is why always, always, when you see red, 
plate color like this, mm -hmm. you have to be attention that he is a tourist. That mean no need to be a tough with him, no need oh, to be hard wow. with him. You understand? Yeah, that's really nice. Ninety percent from the people they came from abroad, they driving in the other side, not like Cyprus in in, in right side. You yeah, understand? yeah, Steering. yeah. So absolutely, they not used to drive in this way. So the risk on them is very high. Brake and where is the? This is petrol. This brake. Okay. And do you have the? Do no, you... it's automatic. It's a... Oh. Put the brake. Yes. You take this to the end. Because it's very dangerous, not only for himself, it's dangerous for everybody. 